In today's tutorial, I'll be continuing on an OBS hack video that I did last week. In this video, I'll be showing you more hacks. This one is so simple that most YouTubers tend to forget or don't even know it exists. Let's take a look. So what I have here is a game on the top right, my logo, overlay, and then I have two cameras. One is going through my iPhone, another one's going through my laptop. Okay, so here we are. We go to docs, we go to stats, and there we go, bingo. Here's a very important window because it tells us all we need to know about our live stream and how our system is working. We have the CPU usage, we have disk space, we have me memory, we have memory usage. Right now my stream is inactive, so you can see here that nothing is really moving too much. Frames per second is very low. So what I wanna do is go ahead and start the stream and we can see the difference here. Okay, so I started my stream, the game is running, and as you can see, the memory usage has gone up. The CPU usage has gone up. Frames is steady at 30. But as you notice now, is that some of this lag is appearing and that's stripping some of my frames. Not much to make it a big difference, but it's telling me right now that I need perhaps a little bit more power in order for me to not get any more lag. And that's why this feature is so important for live streamers. I mean, it may not affect you as a user because you may have a very fast machine like I do, but it does help to know exactly what is happening on your stream. So perhaps if something does go wrong, you could eliminate all the threats and go straight to the problem. Here, I've done some more testing. As you can see here, as my stream is longer, my frame mist is actually going higher for lag even though it's a very small percentage. As you can see, the longer I stream, there are gonna be some missed frames or skipped due to some lag. Also, if your frames will go much lower or higher, this will actually change. Unfortunately, it's not changing because once again, I have a pretty souped up machine, but that red would appear somewhere in this 30 if it goes below that number 30 frames per second. Uh, I do wanna show you one more feature. If you go to settings, and go to advanced, here you have process priority. Now this is going to definitely help because if you have a machine that's not properly given enough power or CPU, you can change this to go to normal and these numbers will start dropping. However, if you wanna go prioritize and as go to high and hit apply, you'll notice here these numbers will start changing there you have it. Some really quick, easy, underappreciated tools within OBS that people don't know that it exists. And this will definitely help your live stream. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.